Devontae Adams gets traded to the New York Jets and the internet goes insane with rumors of Max Crosby suddenly becoming a trade candidate for the Detroit Lions and a first round draft pick for the Las Vegas Raiders. And this has been brewing, especially since Max Crosby made this statement in the locker room. I'm not here to rebuild, I'm here to win. So, you know, I don't know whatever that means, but yeah, I'm here to win now and wherever I'm gonna be, I'm, you know, I'm gonna be here to win, so. Now, to clarify that, Max Crosby has put out a statement on his own podcast called The Rush Podcast. If you haven't seen it, you gotta check it out because the information is coming straight from the horse's mouth, so to speak. But before we get into that, I do just want to say, hey guys, we have made some fantastic progress at getting you to subscribe to the channel. We were at 67% of you watching that weren't subscribed. We're down to 65. That's progress. So let's celebrate and have the 65% of you who still haven't subscribed to the channel yet hit that subscribe button and the like button. And I tell you what, if this video gets a thousand likes and 500 comments saying draft 2025, I still got a prize to give away, so the first video that gets that, I will scroll through the comments, randomly select one of my subscribers, and do the prize giveaway. It's a mystery, you don't know what it's gonna be yet, I like to do it that way. However, I did just give away $500 worth of stuff this past Sunday, so you never know what you're gonna get here on the Raider D Podcast. So hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and comment down below, Draft 2025. Now let's get into what Big Max Crosby had to say on his own Rush podcast and why the Raider Nation should have absolutely no fear of him ever requesting a trade from the Las Vegas Raiders, at least this year anyway, and why the Detroit Lions are all heartbroken after watching this Rush podcast. Let's take a look at what Max had to say himself. Last year, there was some trade talk. Like that's when I feel like it kind of started that, you know, send me to Detroit, like their fan base was all over me. You know what I mean? And it was at a lesser degree though. You know what I mean? It was, it was like talked about, but it wasn't like a thing. Um, it was a wish list almost. Yeah. Point. Like a wish list thing. And then like now yeah. it's like, they've started a whole like movement, pandemonium, a <laughs> whole movement, like a revolution. And it's like, I'm sitting here innocently just doing what I do. <laughs> yeah. And I feel like, you know, I'm, I got to like address it with my teammates. You know what I mean? I'm like, <laughs> I'm not trying to leave. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I don't have hundred percent control all that, but like, I want to be here. I want to be silver and black. I'll say it loud and clear. I want to be a Raider. I've, I've said that over and over and over again. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, it's business part of it too. Like I don't have hundred percent control of that, but I know at the end of the day, like just seeing all the craziness, like it's been insane. You know what I mean? Like I can't even open my phone. I, every two seconds, it's Lions fans, Lions fans, Lions fans, Falcons fans, Bears fans, me and I edit a different jersey. And I'm like, what the fuck is this turned into? Yeah. And then I make one comment in the press conference yeah. last week. And then that's when it even like went even crazier. I wasn't even, I wasn't trying to say anything. I was literally just saying like, you know, I'm, all I'm trying to do is win. Like all I'm trying, I don't care where I'm at. I don't care what I, I'm speaking. Like I don't give a fuck where I'm at. If I'm in a, a, a basketball game of pig, I'm trying to win that mother. Like that's how I am. So as you can see, Max Crosby is not trying to go anywhere. However, in his statement, he did say something very important. It is a business and there are some things that are out of his control, which means he's not gonna be asking for a trade. He's trying to stay in Vegas. However, Tom Telesco and Mark Davis and Tom Brady could do some crazy wild stuff and trade him to another team because he does not have a no trade clause in his contract. Now, that being said, I highly doubt seeing how Mark Davis loves Max Crosby and just gave him a $6 million bonus just for being so great out there on the field. And Tom Brady and him also have a good relationship as well that they would ever go for Tom Telesco trying to trade off their star defensive player. I think that would absolutely tank any ticket sales from Raiders fans going forward for the rest of the season and maybe for a couple of seasons. And it would just be a bad business decision. You don't trade off your best player on your team who's the captain of your team and the heart and soul of your team unless you're trying to kill your team. And I don't think that Mark Davis is trying to kill the team. And I definitely don't think that Tom Brady would spend tens of millions of dollars with him and his partner, actually hundreds of millions of dollars, to get into a part ownership of the Las Vegas Raiders just to tear it all down and make it worse than it is right now. Let's be honest. A few key plays go the Raiders' way. A few less key penalties are not thrown on the, on the Raiders. And a few less interceptions, fumbles, and block punts, and the Raiders have a winning season this year. So the Raiders are not a bad team right now. We're not the Carolina Panthers right now. We're not the New England Patriots right now. We are better than those teams, but we have hurt ourselves in the games that we have lost, and part of that is due to the fact that Coach Antonio Pierce made a terrible decision to go with Gardner Minshew to start out the season. 
Should have been Aiden O'Connell from the beginning, as I was saying. And it just sucks for Aiden O'Connell because he has not gotten a real shot to show what he can do carrying over from last year, being that he wasn't the starter for the first several games. And then when he did get his chance to get in there, it was too little too late. And then he breaks his thumb. Now he's out for four to six weeks. So I do feel bad for the kid. However, this is the NFL and it is next man up. And therefore the Raiders went out and they pulled in Desmond Ritter. We'll see if Desmond Ritter turns out to be anything. But remember, Desmond Ritter coming out of the Cincinnati Bearcats was touted to be a first round draft pick quarterback. It was a weak quarterback market that year, and he does have some pretty big holes in his game, but he has a lot of upside as he is uber athletic, much more than Gardner Minshew, so he can certainly extend plays better, and he definitely throws the ball much better off platform than Gardner Minshew does and makes better decisions. However, in his first year, arguably he did throw 12 interceptions, only 12 touchdowns, but he did put up five touchdowns on the ground. So total, he had 17 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. Gardner Minshew wasn't much better with 15 touchdowns and seven interceptions. So that being said, I think Desmond Ritter has a real shot to not only stay on this team, but possibly become QB1 for at least the next several weeks to see until we know what Aiden O'Connell is going to be able to do once he comes back off of his thumb. I think this definitely spells disaster for Gardner Minshew and he'll probably be off the team by the end of the year and hopefully we can trade him and they'll, whoever we trade him to would take some of his salary but either way it's only 15 million and we have 108 million in salary cap next year so it's not that big of a deal what is a big deal is this max crosby very clearly said that not only does he want to be a raider that he will not request to, to leave the raiders that he is loyal to the raiders but he also made this statement right here which really has me excited. Check it out. Tom Brady, like I said, he's a one of one. And um, we, we've gotten, you know, real cool. And um, dude's an absolute beast. And it's honestly, it's an inspiration for me. Like that's, you know, for me, I want to be a part owner of the Raiders one day. You know what I mean? That's, that's something that I aspire to do. Max Crosby not only wants to be a Raider while he's playing football, but he would love to become an owner someday of the Las Vegas Raiders. I think that's awesome. That type of mentality is what you have to have when it comes to your star playmakers. And Max Crosby has that in abundance. Remember, drop the comment 2020 draft 2025 down below for your chance to win the surprise giveaway. And don't forget to like, because if we hit a thousand likes and 500 comments, I'll select a random subscriber to do the random giveaway for. I'll see you guys in the next video.